In this problem, we're going to find the root mean square of the numbers 1, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Let's go ahead and go through it. Solution. This is also called the quadratic mean. And this is often used in physical applications. So the root mean square is defined as follows. It's equal to the square root of the average of the data squared. So you can write this as the square root of, so the average of the data squared. So basically you take all of the data and you square it, and then you divide by the number of data, okay? So here, uh, that would be, let's see, so we take the square root of, so you square all of the data and add them up. So it'd be one squared plus three squared plus four squared plus five squared plus seven squared. All of that is being divided by capital N, which in this case is one, two, three, four, five, because we have five numbers. So again, you just square all of the numbers, add them up, take the square root, and then divide uh, by the total number of data. So I believe this is like four and a half. Let me just work it out exactly to see what it is. One squared plus three squared plus four squared plus five squared plus seven squared. This is actually, oh wow, this is actually uh, 100 up top. So we get 100 over five. So it's going to be the square root of 20 uh, which I believe is roughly 4.47. Let me just double check that. Square root of 20 is roughly, yep, roughly 4.47. That would be the root mean square. So again, you just take each of these numbers, 1, 3, 4, 5, and 7. You square them, and then you divide by 5, and then you just take the square root. So easy way to memorize it is like this, but it's also pretty easy to memorize it like this. I mean... You know, you square them, add them up, divide by the total, and then just take the square root. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.